let's talk a little bit about condensate pumps. Uh, if you're unsure on what to order, um, this is a very common model everybody uses. It's called a little giant. Now, you have a 3 8 I believe this is a check valve. And that's where your tubing goes on. That, that's where it pumps out of. Inside here you have you have a little motor, a switch, which always does math, and a another switch, which you put a wire into your furnace to shut it down uh, if this pump were to fail. But if you do that and you're not home for the weekend and the pump fails, um, it'll shut your furnace off and put it in your building. So you have to make that decision. And this will get wired into the the uh, 24 volt wiring to shut down your furnace. So, but none of this is really fixable. I, I don't think you can even buy parts for these. So that's the inside of your pump. Now you have holes here. These holes, there's three of them. There's three holes there. This is where your condensate goes. From your furnace and your air conditioner. Three quarter inch line fits in these holes. So you can run flexible line into them or three quarter inch PVC from your air conditioner or your furnace. The model number on this is here it is here. This is it right here. V C M A one five U L S. And that is a very common little giant pump that um, is used extensively. Now, when you order your condensing line, you want to order a 3 8 inside diameter. So it has 3 inch inside diameter, it's half inch outside diameter. The 3 inch inside diameter will fit over top of this. Because this is 3 eighths and you want your pipe to be 3 eighths on the inside. So that's very important uh, when ordering your tubing. Okay, before we say any more about our tubing, I just want to show you this. You can hang your pump on the side of your furnace or wherever you want to hang hang it. There's two spots here for screws that you can hang it on to. And that's all I want to say about that. Now, your 3 8 tubing is going to be clear. And of course it's 3 8 on the inside inside diameter. It's going to be clear tubing. And you kind of want to run this in one piece if you can. You can have my fennies to uh, connect two pieces together. I've also used a piece of 3 8 copper. But I would imagine that that would corrode at some point in time and cause you some grief. They do sell plastic barbs to attach two pieces together. And this goes on your check valve, and that just pushes on, and, and, and then a hole on there. Uh, when you're running this to me, wherever you're running it to, probably a sink, you want to, I would say, you want to avoid using what uh, staples for 
uh, wire. Usually this ends up compressing the, the tube. And uh, it just doesn't work out too well. You want to get a like a clamp and clamp that right on your tubing and screw that into your joist. These work a lot better. I'm not sure what size that is, but uh, you probably get these in the I must say a logical department. Uh, it's probably a wiring item. So you want to look for these clamps. Stay away from the staples. And you can attach that on there. Screw it in. Another thing you can do, you can parallel another line with some wire ties, depending on what the line is. I've used old gas lines that ran across the basement to do this. Um, but you can make up your mind how you want to get this to wherever you want it to drain out of your pump. So, there you have it. That's the kind of line you need to buy. This is a very common pump that is used extensively. So if you order one online, you have the numbers, you know what kind of pipe to buy. And that's, that's a little bit of my climate sink pumps. Okay, we just piggybacked the condensate lines onto, I believe, an old gas line that ran across. And what I'd like to do uh, at the sink is run the lines into a, a one-inch hard plastic drain that will drain out in your sink. If there's no uh, drain close to where you need to pump it to, then you got to use a sink. This is a very good way to do that, nice and clean. Now I ran two pipes into that one inch, and it drains out in this thing. So it's a little better than just running your pipes down and draining them out in this thing. You can also run the pipes. Um, it's not going to run the plastic uh, 3 8 flexible line directly into a drain because you don't have a trap and it's just kind of not appropriate. But this is an acceptable way to do it. So you run your 3 8 line over and return to the sink.